Hi, I'm Christ, and I'll teach you some of the movement-related techniques used in Cyberpunk 2077 speedruns. There are unscreened time codes for each technique, so you can skip ahead to what you need. Fall damage cancel. Fall damage cancel is a way to cancel your fall damage by storing it and overriding it. This can be done by sliding off an object that is tall enough to kill you. The slide will store your fall damage until you are done sliding. What you then can do is overwrite the stored fall damage by falling off an object or ledge that is small enough to not give you fall damage. When you slide off, you start storing your fall damage based on how much time you spend falling. If you then start falling again, the fall damage that has been stored will be replaced with the new values from the smaller drop. These small drops can be just a few pixels high, so finding a good place to cancel your fall damage is a good idea. It has later been discovered that you can remove your fall damage by entering photo modes while sliding. I believe this is because entering photo mode while on the ground puts you in a standing animation instead of the action animation that you get when entering while falling. So the game thinks you're on the ground and therefore don't need to give you back your fall damage values when exiting photo mode. K-hopping. K-hopping requires a cybernetic item called the Krisnikov. This item can be bought by Victor when visiting him during the quest The Ripper Dog. When you have the Krishnikov, it allows you to slow down time while blocking or aiming and during a dash. So when doing the dash and slowing down time, if you release your block and dash again, you will gain double the momentum. You can add multiple dashes in the time of releasing the block to time is fully restored to gain even more speed. Usually, this is done by spamming the forward key while quickly pressing and releasing the block or aim button. A note to this is that you cannot slow down time while you're on a call. Fist gliding. Fist gliding uses a glitch to unload your equipped weapons by switching weapons fast. This can be easily done by only having one gun equipped. What you do is you switch to your fists, then switch back to your weapon, and then quickly back to your fists, and scroll to attempt to switch away from your fists, but the game can't find a weapon to switch to, so it just unloads your weapon. But it keeps some of the actions that it can do. This can be done with any weapons, but it's only useful with weapons that move you, when fired or used. When punching with your fist, you will be moved a bit forward. This can be used to start flying or gliding. So unload your weapon and start punching. There's a fine line between the amount of clicks to start flying and to keep you gliding. You can use your movement keys while flying, but I recommend just a fast click, as if you hold them, you'll start to lose height. Edge running. Edge running is very simple and can be done on any edge you can run along. By running along it and being on the very edge of it, the game will apply fall speed because it thinks you're falling and you'll start running real fast. Panda fly. When trying to mount a ledge that has a window of pain in it, you'll get thrown backwards real fast. After many attempts around Night City, there has been found that it does not need to have a window of pain in it in order to make you fly. The places you can do the non-window panda fly is very specific and more are discovered each week. I hope this video will be able to help you start your speedrunning in Cyberpunk 2077.